Recently, I flew to Dallas to be with my family, and it was just such an amazing time because I hadn't seen them since Christmas of 2021, and my soul truly longed for them. Every time I feel a little bit disconnected from myself, I usually go home to try to ground myself a little bit and just be around the people that I love. Family has always been so important to me. It feels like an extension of my own being. There is no me without my family. Family doesn't have to be bound by blood, but by shared memories, ambition, tears, and trust. This here is my biological family. A little bit dysfunctional at times, but we care for each other deeply. With them, I've learned what unconditional love means. I've found a home, comfort, and support. My wish is that even though people struggle with familial relationships, that they still get an opportunity to know the kind of love that will wait for them with open arms and a source of strength when life gets tough. Because we all need community. We need to feel safe and loved and a sense of belonging. This is my niece Bella. Her favorite word is why. And she does enjoy dancing a lot and very much hates vegetables. And this is my big sister Vivian. She has the biggest heart ever. She has a little bit of a shopping problem, but she does let us shop from her closet. So I guess it makes her a bit sustainable. And oh my God, look at those teeth, yes. How much that's a shame? Hey, okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hug, this ain't a phone. Girl, never stop and I'm keeping it cold. After spending the entire day together, it was definitely time for us to drop mom off at home so she could get some rest and then we headed back to Whitney's to kind of hang out. The girls have to drink so we went back for more wine and movies. It was such an amazing day. After a long work week, it was definitely time to relax. So we headed over to my mom's because she was hosting like a get together. We had relatives from Minnesota. It was my cousin Ken and his wife. So I got to meet her for the first time. They were extremely sweet and just lovely people overall. My aunt Doreen also was there and my cousin Isaiah. So we just had an amazing time. I only ever eat my mom's food and on this day she made sure to make my favorite which is fish spinach and ugali so where i'm from we do eat a lot of fish my family originates from kisumu which we live right by the lake victoria and as a child you know we did eat a whole lot of fish whenever we went to the countryside tilapia is my favorite fish just because i remember when my dad first took us to lake victoria and we had the whole experience where we saw the fishmongers catching the fish and they're you know the market workers they fry it and serve it for you and you know there's just nothing that tastes that good like it's fresh and ready and hot After eating, we decided to have a dance party. It was such an amazing evening and it was just time for us to relax and then head back home to see the fireworks. It's fireworks, son. You want to be a firework? Yeah. You're already a firework. I like the red one. Mhm. Mm you saw a red one and a green one. I like another one. Another one? A red spicy hot one? Yeah. Yeah. I can't touch it. You can't touch it. So the next no, morning we woke no. up super early. It was such a rainy day, so we kind of just stayed in and cuddled all day. Bella and I decided to have an activity and make pancakes together. Um, I attempted to make chocolate chip pancakes, but because I suck, you know, they didn't come out very well. So we threw those out and decided to make peanut butter pancakes instead.
The sun eventually came out and I decided to do my makeup and shoot some content for my Instagram. I've been doing a 30 day outfit challenge on there so if you'd like to follow me it's at slow living with Val. Definitely shoot me a DM and tell me that you're coming from YouTube so then I can like say hello because that's gonna really psych me up. The next day the weather was so nice so we decided to step out for a picnic. Um, Whitney is truly terrified of like grass but I did convince her to come to the picnic with me because it was like a opportunity to spend time outside as well as like create content so it worked out for both of us. Um, but yeah I spent the last days in Dallas just kind of like working and chilling and it was just overall amazing. I'm gonna miss home for a bit and it folks thank you so much for watching and like literally subscribing to my channel i really do appreciate the support and take care and i'll see you on my next video should know every time I close my eyes You're the first place that I go in I'm starting to notice all like, my work, right? Yes, you go for the best you can Get people glad for going to be all my food I'm so proud of you